Well, as you can see, we've left our leopards and, well, leopards, should I say, up in the tree sleeping and not more than, I would say, 300 meters away is a whole pride of lions. So you can see there is females and a very big male that is with them at the moment. And this is a pride that we see the most here in this part of the Sabi Sands. It's called the Inkuhuma Pride. And there's five adult females and six cubs that are about just over a year old now. And then there is this big male lion that is with me right next to the vehicle over here. Now he's part of four brothers or coalition members, should we call it? They're not all related and are not all brothers. They are in the, say, from the same pride, but they are not brothers per se. They're not from the same mom. And this particular male, he is called Mfumo, and so he spends a lot of time with this particular pride, and I believe they had a wildebeest kill last night that they ate, and they've finished that, and so now they're just resting and sleeping away the day and into the evening but look at the size of his paw you see that that paw is probably bigger than my hand and it'll probably be about the size of my face it's massive it really really is and that will be able to do a lot of damage so he's got a very big paw Noel, you want to know what lions like to eat? Well, Noel, it depends where you are in the world. But here in the Sabi Sand Game Reserve in the northeastern corner of South Africa, our lions love buffalo. They want nothing else but buffalo. They will catch wildebeest and zebra and impalas and giraffe from time to time. But what they really want is buffalo. They really like buffalo and they enjoy eating buffalo and hunting buffalo and that's what they look for mostly. In the Maasai Mara where Taylor is with her lions, those lions will like to hunt wildebeest a lot more because there's a lot more wildebeest than there are buffalo. They will go after buffalo but they will prefer to hunt zebra and wildebeest because there's a lot more of those animals. Then if you go into other parts of the world, so if you go into the Kalahari Desert, there the lions will hunt an animal called a chemspok which is a very large antelope or an elant which is one of our largest an antelope and an elant will weigh close to 2,000 pounds so that's what they'll go after in the desert areas but here in this part of the world buffalo is the number one choice for our lions they love a bit of beef that's what they want when they go after food Layla, you want to know if they only hunt at night? Layla, no, they don't only hunt at night. All cats, lion, leopard, cheetah are opportunistic. So what that means is that they'll hunt at any time of the day. So they will, might hunt in the morning, the afternoon, in the middle of the day. But at night is better because at night, look at how well they blend in. If I move my light away, you can see those on the edge of the light, how they just very difficult to see. But the lion's eyesight at night is very good. They're able to see incredibly well and they ha then it becomes easier for them to hunt so they like hunting at night because it's easier than hunting in the day but they will hunt in the day as well I was hoping that if we were with this pride at this time of the day though talking about night is that we might hear them roaring because they like to roar at night time to establish their territory and tell everybody that this is my area and my place particularly the male Every you want to know how many lions are in this pride? Well, every there's five females, six cubs, and this big male that's not always with them. So this male will come and go quite a bit. He'll sometimes be in this area, sometimes he won't be. But the pride itself is five females and six cubs. The six cubs are five females and one male. So there's one male that's got a tough time. He's got five sisters and five mothers basically to sort, well, one mother and four aunts to sort him out. So he's going to have a tough time of it. But he has some company from dad every now and then. But they are all very fast asleep. The one female is looking around, but otherwise it's a little bit comatose. And unfortunately, that's really all we've got time for this afternoon. It's been an absolutely incredible afternoon. We've had lions and leopards and cheetah and hyenas, and it's all really been quite chaotic and unfortunately our male has just passed some wind and it's very stinky so <laughs> Seb is just saying wow it's very stinky but we really have been spoiled this afternoon and I hope all of you have enjoyed it and that you've learned something with us and we hope to see you all again soon on Safari Live and for our rest of our viewers we'll see you tomorrow on the Sunrise Safari.